everyone. I just want to let you know that I just got the Mobile Fighter G Gundam box set and I have to tell you in comparison to the Gundam Wing box set it's like a huge difference. Just look at this monster. So um, from what I understood a lot of the um, the fans requested maybe a smaller box set so that way it can fit and I can understand why because this thing's a monster. Anyway, I've already done an unboxing for Gundam Wing, so I'm just going to go for it for Domon. Okay, so it's lovely and it's orange. And as you can see, it's kind of hard, but you can see the silhouette of Domon right in the center. And Master Asia doing his do. <laughs> and uh, Domon at the bottom. It's so beautiful. I haven't seen the show in a long time, so please forgive me. I think... I was probably in high school when Toonami um, revealed this series. Here's Master Asia in the silhouette again. Um, silhouette, excuse me. And um, yeah, so that's to tell you I'm very old. But yes, it looks very nice. And it's kind of a, a change of pace considering how the other box sets were really, really tall and wide. And I'm just going to have to figure out how to open this without breaking it. So there we go. And whew, I can see how beautiful the image is. Kind of a spoiler, but not really. And also, dang, a lot of fan service there. Damn rain. Okay. So, but I liked rain. She was cool. Kind of annoying, but okay. So, our first two volumes of Mobile 5G Gundam is here. The extras are here, which I'm kind of curious about because it looks like a small flap, but I don't think it is. And on the right-hand side, um, there's the art of Mobile Fighter G Gundam, which I can't wait to look. And just to look a little bit at the art some more. Wow, this looks amazing. I don't know what's going on here. It looks kind of faded, but I think it's supposed to look that way. And then we already saw Dormon, so... Let's go in. Um, so. Woo, it's so beautiful. Oh, man. Looks very lovely. I don't really remember who my favorite was out of these five. <sighs> Barely remember the names. But I think it has a reversible disc in the back, so it does have some art here. Um, episodes 1 to 6, episodes 7 to 12, episodes 13 to 18. <laughs> this looks like a Robocop Gundam. <laughs> I think I have to like refresh my memory because I barely can remember in these Gundams. They don't look like the ones that the other pilots rode, but I could be wrong because, like I said, it's been a very long time since, oops, since I watched G Gundam. Okay. Second one. <gasps> There's Alan B and Rain. I have to say, if I were to choose between the two, I really did like Alan B. She was the sweetest, and I am very much convinced that Alan B's Gundam is modeled after Sailor V in some way, and you cannot deny me otherwise. I mean, look at it. Look, tell me that wasn't Sailor V. She even had the bow in the back of her head. If you, Even if you don't see it now, that was that. I refuse to believe that it wasn't Sailor V inspired. So, looks good. I think I missed a disc though. Did I? Yes, I did. Okay. And on the back, there is another picture of, um, let's see, the reversible. Let's look. Let's look at the reversible uh, cover for a second. Don't murder me, you guys. Like I said, it's my first time doing an unboxing. Oh, this looks really nice. Look at the horse. <laughs> okay. So with that said, I'm really excited to see the art books. So squee! Oh, I forgot when I said I was going to open it, I was going to sing... And the theme song, but now I'm kind of embarrassed. Oh, Alan P. Look at you. Well, look, it's Sailor V. It's Mecha Sailor V. You cannot convince me otherwise that that is not Sailor V. And that's like her love chain, even though it looks like a whip. 
or whatever it was, it's Venus. She has a Venus Gundam, a Sailor V Gundam. Sailor V. Okay. So let's see what's in this extras box. Actually, before I even go there, I want to look at the art book because it's so nice and it's hardcover. And wow. Oh my God, I don't even want to open it that far. What? What is going on here? See, I haven't watched the show in so long. I don't even remember this happening. Um, but I've never really got to look at a lot of the art from um, G Gundam. So I think this is kind of cool. And it gives you a little bit of information, some character designs. Domokashu, he looks kind of like a 70s character in this picture. But um, <laughs> I remember the Mermaid Gundam, like what? Okay, so um, so a lot of the materials is basically all the uh, Gundams in the series as well as their users. And a lot of the characters are very, uh, yeah, they're Chibi's girls. I really did like them. But um, his fan club. But we can see Rain, not to be confused with the Korean singer, but anyway, it's basically um, just a nice, Nice mini album on the character designs, the artwork, a lot of um, information about the Gundams and a lot of the characters that appeared in all the episodes. So, um, ah, I still have one being Sailor V. Okay, I have to carefully, carefully extract this. Oh, look, this is very cute. Let's do a little close up so you guys can see. Ooh, okay, and on the back. On the side, it's them again. Yes. Okay. So, slowly, slowly with care, opening the last box. I'm scared. I'm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No. Hey, everybody love, remembers this picture because he's searching for Kyoji, his older brother. Wow. I'm actually laughing because they made that an actual picture. This one with everybody. Aw, this is really cute, actually. I very like, like this very much. So a lot of them are like stills from some of the episodes, which I think is great. Um, us. Oh, and they have patches, which I think is funny because Club Ace, Jack, I have the choker, black choker, the ace of hearts, a king of hearts. I said ace of hearts. Whoops. Whoop. Hold on, Domino. I'll take you in a minute. I know you're going to try to like destroy my stuff and I don't want you to. So, and then queen of spades. Okay. So I'm just going to put that on the side here. Oh, and the one thing that I know I want to use, but I can't. Look at this beautiful shot glass. This is cool, right? But I wonder if it's random because I can't remember if everyone gets the same shot glass or if it's going to be a different character. But it looks like he has a, like, a little Mexican hat on. Like, or what is that? And he has spikes. What? It's kind of cool, though. But I wish I, I wish they had like G Gundam like across so it's just a picture of a gundam i don't know if it differs per person who gets a box set mama <laughs> and my cat's like begging to um to get in to come in my room but i know if she does that would be problems okay and we have this really lovely lovely yeah lanyard so looks it's got all the gundams this is really cool <laughs> and more I don't think I'll ever use this I think I will keep it because that's how collectors are obsessed and what is this what is this is this Domon's like headband because if it is I kind of don't want to take it out <laughs> I'm going to leave it I don't know what it is so um, I'm pretty sure that's Domon's like super duper red head headband so Trying to put everything back where it was, but I can't. Um, 
well, I have to say that I'm amazed by all this really neat stuff that um, Right Stuff has provided in the box set. Um, huh, trying to put everything back and it looks terrible. So maybe, maybe I'll do that later. <laughs> but I have to say that I'm very, very pleased with the box set. And I think it's a lot better to have it more compact compared to the G Gun to the Gundam Wing box set that I had. Not to have, not to say that. I have any complaints about the box set for G Gundam. I'm sorry for Gundam Wing. I think it's really cool and I will continue to treasure it, but I will tell you it takes a hell of a lot of space in my room. So with that said, that's basically it for the unbo unboxing. I'm sorry if I'm boring. I'm not, I'm terrible. But um, anyway, I'm just gonna leave it off with this picture because she's freaking awesome. Allenby is my favorite. All right, see you guys later.